Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant General Rocky R. Meade. Brigadier General Galloway and Mrs. Galloway, General Sosa and Mrs. Sosa, General Watt and Mrs. Rabat, senior staff of the General Command and Staff College, specially invited guests, members of this year's graduating class, friends and families, sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed an honor for me to join my colleagues from Argentina and India today for the induction ceremony. I must say that the best year of my life is the year that my wife and myself spent watching our young son grow, his first year. But the program here is easily second best. <laughs> For this recognition today, I wish to thank General Lundy and the leadership of the command and General Staff College, including the Selection Committee for the International Hall of Fame, the Charge of Affairs and staff of the United States Embassy, particularly Lieutenant Colonel Pablo Raggio, the senior defense official, my staff, officers, men and women of the Jamaica Defense Force, my family, my sponsors, and I'd like to single out uh, uh, Joe and Debbie Clark who were able to come and be with us today. Uh, Vic Miles from Kansas is not able to come. I'm gonna visit him later today. As a full-time soldier and part-time educator, I believe that all learning experiences are valuable. My experiences during my almost one year at the Staff College was instrumental in enabling me to more effectively develop and lead a strategic vision for my force, Jamaica, and the region. As I reflect on the time spent here, I would like to leave a few thoughts, particularly with this year's graduating class. Firstly, when you take on a new job, own at least one problem that will define your tenure. While here, I had in mind several problems affecting the JDF, and so with every experience, every lecture, every encounter, I could see elements of potential solutions. Secondly, set goals that appear to be impossible to achieve. Although the staff course was very demanding, I took on numerous other activities, including the master's degree, lecturing at the University of Kansas, doing three different martial arts, a year-long Bible study course, improving my swimming, volunteered in many programs, and toured many places of interest as far away as Hollywood. This required mastery of the skill of multitasking, which I find critical today as I lead the transformation of the JDF, manage my family, my duties as lecturer, and supervisor of doctoral students, etc. Three, create a plan, but be patient, especially if you are not yet in command. In 1983, Brigadier General Colin Powell identified while here the need to recognize soldiers of color. But it was not until 92, when he was chairman of the Joint Chiefs, that it was accomplished. My transformation of the JDF now is based largely on a thesis I wrote here while doing the MMAS. Although I shared it with my predecessors, I supported them when they wanted to do other things, and I waited until I became the child to take the opportunity to implement it. Four, identify your key enabler and don't compromise it. Faced with the enormous content we had to read and research, 
That's if you read it. <laughs> I had to develop reading skills to know the critical content and ignore the fluff. These skills have re remained with me. Five, you don't have to win every skirmish. While here, I was shortlisted as one of the nominees for the top international student award. I very much expected to win that award, having had similar recognition of the Royal Military Academy Sanders, the UK. I was voted a runner-up, and that taught me more lessons than winning would have. Six, select loyal staff. The emphasis placed on understanding the command intent during the mission analysis lectures here was very informative. I took from that that a smart, competent staff that is working against the command is not going to allow you to achieve the intent. Therefore, what you need primarily is a loyal staff. Seven, make friends, because enemies will make themselves. This course is renowned for the large component of international students, and I established lifelong friendships here. I was particularly struck by the fact that officers from countries that had political and diplomatic challenges got along very well with each other here, and that was a life lesson for me. Eight, knowing your enemy's vulnerabilities is more important than knowing their strengths. I mentioned that I took on three martial arts programs while here. One of them was Aikido. And Aikido is a Japanese martial art where you, it's underscores a non-aggressive approach to conquering one opponent. So you use your opponent's strengths against them. You discover their vulnerabilities. Nine, make time for family. Although I was unaccompanied while here, I saw the emphasis placed on family, enhanced by the program of sponsors and friends of students. This was critical for remaining sane during the demanding program that um, we have here, and that has remained with me. Finally, sheer success, but own the failures. While here, we had to do many group activities, and there were many weaker members of the group, but the results were always presented as a group accomplishment. We shared the success with all, and that has remained with me. So in summary, own at least one problem in every job you take on that will define you. Set goals that are, uh, appear impossible to accomplish. Create a plan, but be patient, especially if you are not yet in command. Identify your key enabler and don't compromise it. You don't have to win every skirmish. Select loyal staff. Make friends because the enemies will make themselves. Know your enemies' vulnerabilities, even more so than their strengths. Make time for family and share success, but own the failures. Once again, thank you all very much for this honor. It has meant a lot to me, and certainly it's good to have my family here with me to share this. And it all came about because of the several things I learned here from the academic program to the interactions with families and just the way that we do business here. So thank you all again very much.